are you concerned about falling? In the next year, one in four seniors will experience a fall. Do not allow yourself to become a statistic. Tai Chi is proven to reduce your fall risk by 58%. Classes for all abilities are available throughout DuPage County. Tai Chi. Exercise for life. Exercise for you. And tap below your collarbone. So remember, we are stimulating our kidneys to help balance the energy in them so they function Well, for those of you that missed it, the picnic on last week was a lot of fun. One and a half. Walking Um, It was a draw. It was a draw between everybody there. <laughs> everybody got a walking stick? No. <laughs> everybody got a squeezy toy. <laughs> I did buy the lock stick. Very nice. You did? I, yeah. So there are, if, if you're interested, I have some samples of walking sticks there. I have everything from like this long to like this tall. You have to something more like a hiking pole. I custom cut them to length if I'm making them short. I can't make them longer, unfortunately. Middle of sternum. Hips. Loops. Units. So center of the sternum is for your lungs to promote breathing and your thymus to boost your immune system. And the side of your ribs is for your spleen and your digestive system. And loose and relax, swing your arms. Loose and relax as you can, promoting circulation, improving cardiovascular function, glycemic control, and brain function. Hmm. How is everybody today? Pretty good. All good. Awesome. 
You want to be stuck here. Yeah. <laughs> Another couple of months, you'll be wishing for days like this. No? No? <laughs> Seven is better. I, I'll tell you, if, it, if, it's, if it's in the 70s in four months' time, <laughs> I will be fine. <laughs> you'd be scared? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Mid-50s, mid typically. Hmm. Yes, if it's 70 degrees on the day of our last class, I too will be worried. <laughs> And allow your arms to come to end. Turn your waist. Allow your arms to swing on. So if you're sitting down, this is very much going to be in your shoulders. You're turning your shoulders rather than your waist. And tap the small of your back on the opposite side, inside your shoulder on, on the front. And take your arms out, bring your waist to a <laughs> take your head to one shoulder, crawl it down the ground to your other shoulder without tilting your back. Pass. Exhale around and the tail. Exhale and
one. Change direction, head to your shoulder. Roll it down round to the shoulder without tilting it back. Bring it across. Exhale around. Inhale. Exhale. And. One more. Bend your knees, let your arms hang down, loose and relax with all the motion in your shoulders. Roll your shoulders. So if your arms are nice and relaxed, they should begin to move in circles. And if you're really relaxed, they'll bump together. And so name two birds come together. One more. Change direction. One. And straighten up. Grab your thumb and massage your thumb. Emphasis around the base of your fingernail and the very tip of your thumb. Massaging firmly, but not so much that you twist bones. <laughs> Do not twist bones. Anybody remember what organ this was for? Just going back a while, we haven't talked these in a while. What? Lungs. Next one. Anybody remember this one? Yes. Large. Large intest then. Little finger. Sorry. Communication. That's not very PC of you. <laughs> Pericardium. Next one, triple warmer, testicium.
And the small finger, this is two. Heart and small intestine. Tim's rocking it this morning. <laughs> and next one. So switching hands. United Blue Engines. Next one. See our runway today. It's still <laughs> Okay. Next one. Next one. This hopefully should be your last one. Does anybody have any extras? Anybody have any less? Yeah, shake your hands out a little bit. And gently jab the webs of your thumbs together. Can anybody remember what we're stimulating with this? <laughs> See now they're putting the pressure on you, Tim. How, how many spaces are there between your fingers? Eight. All right, we're halfway there. Eight blocks. So for those of you that are new, you obviously are finding out you don't need to remember what all this stuff is for. It's the doing of it that's the important thing, not the remembering what it's for. All right, webs of your fingers. Remember, your fingers need to rub up onto the back of your opposite hand. So relax those fingers. And we are stimulating the eight ghosts. The ghosts assist the fingers next to them. Is what? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Sorry? What do you see the It's it's the name given to the set of acupuncture points. Why it's called the eight ghosts, I do not know. Um there, there is a book out there that's uh, that describes why all the acupuncture points are called what they are called. And I can imagine it's a very interesting book, but I do not know. Right. Inhalation of fingers. And then you can pop this. What are the eight acupuncture points? The eight ghosts. Yeah. That's what they're called. Where are they? Between your fingers. 
So there's one between each finger. So when you do this, you're stimulating those points between each of the fingers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, change direction. And then suddenly you find out you can't go the other direction. Yeah. It will tell you, it usually takes most people a little while to figure out how to make your hands move the opposite way. Yeah, gently push one wrist up and then the other. And not your wrist. Rub the palms of your hands. Sorry, I'm having a real bad time here with people this morning. Sorry, but... <laughs> there, there is actually in um, hands on the small of your back, keep your head still, your head upright, and circle your waist. If you do my blood circulation exercises class, we do a whole lot of stuff with the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the tongue. And I believe the next one is Saturday, November 2nd at Bloomingdale Park District. And in the afternoon, there is a Discover the Secret Chinese Health Balls class. And then in the evening, there is a pendulum class. Pendulum. So if you are interested in learning how to use a pendulum, to answer questions, to discover and communicate with your subconscious, It's what? Like the Ouija board? No. Change direction. So that day you could actually spend the entire day with me. Wouldn't that be fun? What is worst part? <laughs> Health, well being, and longevity. Um, good. If you choose, bring your feet close together, circle your tail.
One. Change direction. Circle yourself on the other one. One. And with your foot in the shape of a if you are standing on your tiptoes, half the ball with one foot. And half the ball with your other foot. Your head up, your eyes up. So I believe those are the last time I will be offering those classes in the Chicagoland area. So if you've never taken those classes, I suggest that you do. All right. So what we're going to do next is a sequence called Tai Chi Shi Gong Shi Bashi, which is a sequence of 18 movements we'll do from beginning to end without stopping. The only two precautions are we will bend down, or I will bend down if we do scoop the ocean and circling a ball. You need to be judicious about how far you lean forward. So like scoop the ocean done well would be like this, because it's not how big you make the motion, it's how smooth you make the motion. So that is better than going down and wobbling and things like that. Most difficult thing is left and right. Uh, the other precaution is when we do bouncing a ball, most important thing is your balance. How high you pick your foot is what's important. And just as effective sitting down as it is standing up. So whether you are sitting or standing, feet sharp, straight, knees relaxed, back straight, head up tall, arms relaxed, and so. But make sure that you are comfortable. Try and let go of all of those little itches, distractions, so you're truly present with what you are doing. Focus only on the present moment. Sink your way down on these. Your hands float up to the height of your shoulders, your legs straight. Your hands sink down, all legs back. Inhale, your hands float up. Exhale, your hands sink. In. And Your hands close up as your legs straight. Open. 
to the side. Your hands close. You'll expand and your hands sink. Inhale, your hands come up and up. Exhale, your hands float. Sing. Inhale. Dancing with the rain. Keep your knees bent. Bring your hands up. And shift your seat to the right. Your hands go to the left. Shift your seat to the left. Your hands go to the right. Inhale. Your hands go to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Circling up. Bring yourself to the center. Your arms come down. Your right hand comes up, followed by your left. And your leg straight. Your arms come down. And your legs. Inhale, your arms come up. Exhale. Inhale.
twist weights and swing. Put your left hand in front of you, swing your right hand up to the side. Put your right hand on the other. Rowing again. Drop your hands. Your arms come up the sides and your legs straight down the front. Your legs. Inhale. And Holding a ball. Swing your right hand up in front of you. Turn to the left and straighten. Turn your hand palm down. Bring it down. Inhale. Swing your left hand up. Exhale. Swing your hand. Inhale. Look up at the moon. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Swing both hands up to the left side. Your legs straight. Swing your hands forward. Your inhale. Swing up to the right. Exhale. Swing.
pushing up. Swing your hands forward. Pull them up to your side. Your right hand presses out, turn to the left. When your hand come up, pull back, turn. Exhale, your left hand pushes out. Inhale, pull. Exhale. Wave hands like that. Turn your left hand towards you, reach your right hand down. Turn to the left. Change your hands so your right hand is on top. Turn to the right. Change left hand on top. Inhale, turn to the left. Okay. Exhale. Turn to the right. Okay. Inhale. So when your left hand is on top, turn to the left. Change your hand so your right hand is on top and turn to the right. Don't change your hands as you turn. Okay. So we turn. Stop. Change your hand. Turn. Change. Left hand on top. Turn to the left. Change. Right hand on top. Turn to the left. Scoop the edge. Your hands change on the right side. Turn to the left foot. Then your left foot out. Reach as far down as you are safe and calm. Scoop your right hand up far by your left. Bring them over your head left. Exhale, reach forward. And Exhale. Playing with web. Keep your back upright, bring your hands down. Pull your wrists up to your shoulders. Shift forward your wrists, go down away. Shift back your wrists, come down in and out. 
keep those knees bent. Exhale, shift forward. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale. And relax those knees and those knees. So bend those knees. If your legs are straight, you're going to be very unstable. Bend those knees. Drop your weight down. And your palms to face each other, shift back and shift forward. Let's bend those knees. Inhale, open. Exhale, open. Back up straight and up tall. In those And step back, shoulder width apart, hands to your sides, step, left hand reaches up, oh, close, pull back, exhale, your right hand reaches up. Inhale, forward. Exhale. In. Flying like a goose. Drop your hands. Your arms come off the sides. Your legs straight. Your arms come down. Your legs. 
Inhale, your arms come up. Exhale, your arms come up. Inhale. Spinning wheel, squat down. As far as you're safe and comfortable, imagine comfortable. Circle to the left. Your leg straight. Down to the right. And your legs back. Inhale, circle up. Exhale. Circle. Inhale. Exhale. Start from the bottom, change direction, circle to the right. And your leg straight down to the left, and your legs back. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, circle. Inhale. Bouncing a ball. Start the bottom straight. I'm careful with your balance. Left foot. Right hand. Head up, eyes up. Right foot. Left. Inhale, left foot. Exhale. Right. Inhale. Inhale, your hands come up. Exhale, press. Inhale, exhale.
and bring your hand through to below your neck. Turn your palms to face each other as if you were holding a ball. Your fingers are on that space between your fingers. Thumbs are at the level of your navel. Elbows a little away from your body, creating space underneath your armpit. And relax and breathe. Being present in the moment. Hear the sounds of the birds singing in the distance. Feel the movement of the air on your skin. See the greens of the trees and the grass in front of you. Smell and maybe taste the scent of nature all around. And on your next exhale, let 